I for today's tier down, fresh from eBay, this box. So there are still several of them available if you want. They are around 20 British pounds. So it is a grey box with connectors. It is an engine control unit, but not for a car, for a jet engine. And in particular, I believe it is for the Rolls Royce engine of a sea Harrier Royal Air Force aircraft. So it is a grey box, as you can see. Uh, first, we will have a look at the label. So do not mind the missing screws I did already. Prepare the tear down. So it is made by Smith Industries in England and it is called a GPT Limiter Unit. So GPT stands for Jet Pipe Temperature. The NF here I did not find what it stands for. So it is some kind of a control unit that prevents your jet pipe from overheating or something like this it seems. We have a serial number of 733 and there is another one for sale on eBay with serial number 737. Supply in 28 volts DC. Model number 5CZ-110351. Here you have an interesting label with insulation testing maximum 25 volts DC. And here you have your modification plate with the X that indicates the modes are embodied. It is, I believe, the first time I see this one. And the modification status is 0 and here. So we have the connector panel, we have one big plug here with a cover, two screw terminals, this one seems a little bit bent, we will try to figure them out later in the video probably, uh, six pins connectors here, and three pin connector here, so it is, they are called plug number one, TBA, plus and minus, so maybe it is where your actual temperature sensing device is connected. Plug number two, three, four, five. And here we have in fact what are two uh, trimmers with some kind of security bits. You cannot turn them with a regular screwdriver. They are called GPT and uh, NF. So exactly that what you have here. So above the screws they have a regular model of British screws with a little recess in the middle. On the bottom we have a number of screws here. We have this cover here and we have four threaded holes for uh, the uh, Securing the device wherever it is intended to go, I believe it is for mounting on the side of the jet engine. So probably we have pretty hardened electronics in here to resist the extreme conditions of vibrations and temperature variations and so on. Excuse me. Okay, so here we have a little cover, we will start with removing this one because it will be quite straightforward. Excuse me. So as you can see, little cover with two transistors and already you can see these transistors are covered with Silicon group. And we have no, yes, we have a model number 2N500, 5664. And here you have two small tubes with uh, inside the rotating bit for the trimmers, which are located here somewhere. Interesting, and everything here seems to be made of diecast aluminium. 
Okay, now I will remove this cover. So it is just a matter of undoing the three last screws. So the screws are fitted with this kind of cups which are interesting. Some kind of uh, washer cups like this to accommodate the size in fact because the holes here are bigger than the screw size as you can see. It is something you see uh, sometimes on uh, Russian avionics, these kind of things. We have was la one last here at the back. So in fact we have three compartments in this thing. There is the main one here. And it looks like we may have one or two at the front here. At least this part here can be removed and maybe this one also. So first we will check this one. As you can see the electronics are completely covered with silicone goop and will not be able to remove them I believe. But first, inside this cover, we have, it is upside down, from Thermographix Limited, some kind of uh, temperature condition sensor. Not sure how it is supposed to work, but I believe it will record the maximum temperature you did reach. And maybe here we have 99 degrees, which is already pretty hot for electronics but if it is near, nearby uh, jet engine it is totally normal and we have a quite nice not sure it will, how it will show on camera but the metal in here has a nice uh, kind of brush finish okay so about this electronics we have handwritten serial number here and yes, surely enough, it is an ECU, or engine control unit. So it looks like we have two PCBs. And at the bottom, more parts, uh, which seem to be, I believe, uh, probably shielded relays. But as you can see, these uh, PCBs are bolted here with these nuts. Oops and I believe it will not be possible to undo them with not, uh, without uh, removing completely the silicon. So I think I will not be able to remove them. So what do we have? Uh, in fact the bottom PCB, apart from this weird thing here, has exactly the same kind of components that we have here. So some kind of Torida transformer mill spec capacitors of course with a little uh, piece of uh, fabric of cloth, ribbon cloths uh, wrapped around them then resistors, transistors and it is all diodes also so this one here is single sided and this bottom board is double sided as you can see and here we have a whole bunch of wires also completely coated with silicone and also tied with this little blue ribbon you always see on, uh, in Smith's avionics either on my channel or on Sigma Technical channel you can find Smith stuff teardowns and will be, you will see the same thing Okay, so it looks like we have more stuff here in the front. So for this I did already start to unscrew the front compartment. So I believe this one will be mostly the, uh, the back side of the connectors. Pretty long screws here. But first... I want to check out these screw terminals because it seems quite weird in particular for this one in fact. So here we are. 
So what do we have exactly here? I am not sure. Yes, just one uh, one screw. It seems to be a copper screw with a copper washer. As you can see, uh, pretty serious spring washer. Even and in here, just the uh, base of the terminal which seems to be silver plated so not sure why on this one you have a bigger washer you haven't got this on the other one so very nice hardware here by the way so I will try to reinstall it all the way in but no because of the washer it will not go further Interesting. So, I was taking apart this front compartment. Just three screws left. And here we are. So first, I do not see any rubber seal or anything in this thing, either here or here. So I guess everything is coated with silicone, so it is better than a rubber seal, but still. So you can see the wires coming through from the connectors here at the front. There is uh, something in here, so in fact it is just the back side of this terminal. And you can see the wires are directly crimped inside the connectors and the unused uh, holes are plugged with these red plastic things. More blue ribbon around the wires and everything is connected here to solder terminals which seems to be some uh, pass-through filters at the same time at least for this one, pass-through capacitors or something like this and we have more screws that will probably, I hope uh, allow me to access this part here so here about these two things Yes, I see a trimmer here at the bottom. I can barely guess the body of a trimmer. Multi-turn linear trimmer. So, will it cooperate or not? Yes, so far. So, yet another model of screws. This one is almost completely loose. Okay. So I will remove the other ones. Okay, here we are. So what do we have? Nothing more in fact than wires coming from the other side of this uh, pass-through capacitors or whatever they are and coming here inside we have here another one as you can see but seems to be the same kind of uh, teflon insulated terminal thing you can see for these two parts the very nice machined aluminium seems to be machined from an aluminium block while this seems to be uh, uh, probably uh, uh, die cast aluminium so two parts here this one just in fact for uh, holding this terminals why they did not mount them here directly i am not sure and in fact you can see, I just figure out, maybe it is an afterthought because look here, we have the holes on the 
screw holes that fit perfectly the connectors you have on the front. Even for these two ones here, for these two uh, screw terminals. So probably it is a mod. Maybe even it is the mod number one, which is stamped in here. They did do a modification and add this part with uh, these uh, filters or whatever and uh, this new part with uh, the connectors but I believe that the original version or original design at least was to have the connectors attached here directly but I did just notice one thing this will you notice it which might be the proof the connectors were never populated here I will zoom in for you look look closely yes this screw hole here is not threaded interesting all the other ones are threaded but not this one so somebody did forget here to thread this screw hole Ok, so two very expensive parts here. And you can see on this connector, I'm not sure why they did bother building this uh, wall around. Because the connector is not Mexican made, so I am not sure why they should do it. But really, maybe for shielding purpose. Yes, because this will, will come flush, in fact, with uh, this part here. So while all the other wires are uh, filtered here with these uh, things, these ones, which are uh, shielded, go directly to the next part and uh, this terminal. Do not know if it does any filtering action or if it is just a terminal. Seems to be just a Teflon terminal with uh, Teflon isolators and these uh, things coming from to at the both sides. So this is an interesting design. They need to uh, filter all the other signals, but not this one. But it is insulated from the other ones at this level. Okay, so sadly I did not find any information on this thing, apart from the, uh, that there are other ones available and that they should be from uh, sea arrière aircraft. For the engine of a sea arrière. And sadly also, it will not be possible to undo these PCBs because of the goop everywhere. So it should be quite uh, a lot of uh, damage if I try to undo this, uh, these nuts. And also they are uh, self-locking nuts, so they must be very hard to turn. But at the bottom I just see regular uh, mill grade uh, metal can uh, relays, the relays in uh, rectangular metal cans. And each one I can even count how many of them. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe 10 here. Yes. So we have 10 relays at the back here. And just the wires connected to them. But really, they did bother covering the PCB quite extensively, as you can see. And they did bother filtering the signals. Whatever, whatever this box is doing exactly so it might be just some kind of uh, temperature control temperature monitoring or something like this ok so I will put this back together now thanks for watching bye bye